today we're going to be doing a paint job on a guitar using spray cans or spray paint and just some other relatively cheap easy to find materials here. Please don't just go ahead and use spray paints on an expensive guitar, something that's made out of nice wood. Uh, that's not going to be good for it. It's not good for any guitar really. Uh, spray paints are enamel so they kind of seal it up and don't let it breathe and it's, it's really not not the best choice if you got a nice guitar that's not the way to go so uh, what you might want to do is check out my video on spray or not spray paint sorry on paint choices for guitars also if you're not painting a solid body you really don't want to use enamel spray paint okay first of all this is bare wood that's exposed here so I'm going to use a primer to seal it I don't just want to go at it with, uh, you see a lot of people doing repair jobs and then just going at them straight with uh, base color, black or whatever it happens to be. Always a good idea to use primer first for this stuff, mostly because it's sandable so you can get a better finish. What you might want to start off with is wiping it down with wax and grease remover. doesn't have to be duplicolor. Lots of companies make wax and grease remover. And there are a lot of different types of degreasers out there. If you don't want to buy actual wax and grease remover, you can use something like Windex, uh, even butane, like lighter fluid works. Because I'm spraying enamels, I'm going to be wearing a respirator, so I won't be narrating the spraying process. But the gist of it, very similar to spraying with a gun, if you've ever done that. Uh, you don't want to hold the, but you don't want to be spraying, basically without the can moving, okay? So don't be spraying when it's stopped. Don't do circular motions. A lot of people paint in circular motions. This isn't graffiti. You're trying to get an even coat on this. So what you want to do is spray in small patterns because it's spray, it's uh, aerosol. You wouldn't do that with a gun. But spray in small patterns and keep the, the can moving whenever you are actually putting out product, okay? So uh, let's get started on that. I'm going to put this on and spray this. Oh yeah, one other thing, primer. Uh, this isn't the case for the rest of the paint, but for primer specifically, uh, you don't have to put it on in light coats. You use a sandable primer and you can put it on relatively heavy as long as it doesn't run. Even if it does run, you can sand the runs out. So don't worry about that. Just get a reasonable coat on there. That's kind of the whole idea behind primer. So there we go, that's our primer coat. Wow, this thing's in bad condition. Not because of the paint, but because it's my test guitar, so I've used it to test everything from, well, different paints to Dremel tools. Anyway, uh, you should probably let the primer sit overnight before you sand it. Doesn't need to be 24 hours, but give it a, a good few hours to, uh, to dry. Say at least 12. Let it cure before you start sanding. All right, guys, so now that we've uh, covered the basic techniques for painting with rattle cans and we've got our first color coat on here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use some techniques to paint this. I'm just going to kind of blast through this so I can get it all into one video. If you have any questions about anything that I'm doing on here, please feel free to leave it in the comments section and I will do my best to answer all of it. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to answer it since I'm the one doing it. So I'm going to blast through the rest of the painting part and then uh, I'll give you a brief explanation of how to do your clear coat with a can if you choose to do that. Let's get rolling.
right, so now we've got our pattern vignette on the front and our little quick skull graphic on the back. So, once this is all dried up, it's time for clear coating. Now there are three different kinds of clear coat that you would probably consider using on this. The first is just a simple rattle can clear. That's uh, just a 1K, one part rattle can clear. That's what I'm gonna use. Um, I'm just gonna give it a quick coat and just to demonstrate the concept of it. But you would use the same, essentially the same coating techniques if you were to go with something a little better. Uh, like I explained in my video about paint choices, you could use the uh, two part Rattle can clear if you're looking to do a better job, something with a little more uh, hardening to it, so you'll have a more durable and more glossy finish, something that you can polish out better. Or you could go with the actual paint gun clear, I guess, but if you're doing a rattle can finish, chances are it's because you don't have a paint gun, so that doesn't really make any sense. So the concept with the clear, which I will demonstrate, is you want to put on one light coat. It's just uh, to promote adhesion, it's called a tack coat, or there, there are actually a bunch of different names for it. But one light coat, and then uh, depending on your clear coat, typically you wait about 10 minutes, and then you put on a heavy coat, and then you wait about another 10 minutes or until it dries to the touch so it becomes tacky, and you put on another heavy coat after that. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, make sure when you're doing this that you get your 50% overlap, so if your spray pattern's that wide, you only want to move down half of that when you do your next stroke. So every time you want to cover half of what you've already covered with your previous stroke. And I recommend moving in straight lines when you do this. Uh, maybe do one coat in this direction and then one coat in this direction. Something like that. Do your first three coats like I just said, and then uh, let it harden. Scuff it down a little bit if you like, let it harden for a couple days at least. Uh, scuff it down a little bit if you want more clear coat on there, and then do it. Again. You should be wearing a mask for this just so, just to make that clear. Particularly if you're using a catalyzed clear coat, I'm not, I'm just using a 1K. But if you're using a catalyzed clear, that stuff will literally harden on your lungs. So be careful about that. That could uh, basically give you cancer real quick. So there's our painted guitar body done using only rattle can spray paint. Hope this helps and uh, that you guys can use any techniques that you learn from this to your advantage. Feel free to post a comment below if you have any questions or if you want to know how to do a better job of a guitar, something that doesn't just involve rattle cans, take a look at my other videos on that. And uh, I'll see you next time. One other thing, uh, those of you who are really making a, an effort to do a decent job of these rattle can finishes, feel free to post a video response and I will accept it or whatever I gotta do to make it show up there so that we can see how you guys did this kind of thing.